Hey, and welcome to Girl Be Free, a podcast designed to help women get unstuck and cultivate the life you want on your terms. I'm Siobhan, your host, and I'm passionate about empowering women to live their best life. Each week, you'll hear pep talks that will inspire and push you to take action so you too can start to be free and live the life you want. You can learn more about me at BeFreeProject.com. Now let's jump into the show. Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode of the Girl Be Free podcast. I'm your host, Siobhan, where I'm going to inspire and motivate you to show up for yourself. So this week, what I am loving, I'm sure you're going to love it too. And it is the warm weather. Spring is finally here, y'all, and I am so happy. Um, My mood is so much better. I'm in good spirits. The sun is shining. We're having so many beautiful, warm days. Um, I'm here in Cleveland, so it's been like um, high 60s, high 70s, and we've even had some um, 80-degree days. And so I am loving every moment of it. It feels so good to be able to walk outside with a t-shirt and sandals and not a coat or none of that. So that is what I'm loving this week. And I'm sure you're loving it too, because I feel like the winter was so long. Y'all heard me complain about it a few times on previous episodes. So yes, that's what I'm loving this week is the warm weather. All right. So this week's episode is all about where to find your girl squad. So I did a Facebook live the other day and I was talking about how important it is to have a community and a tribe of people in your corner that will just help you on this journey as you're figuring out how to be free. And so I'm sure you may have heard of the quote that you become like the five people you spend the most time with. And that quote is by Jim Rowan. So I want you to think about this. If you are serious about changing your life and shifting your mindset, then you are going to have to be very mindful of the people that you keep around you. You're going to have to eliminate any toxic relationships or any negative energy that is not adding value to your life. You are going to have friends and family members co-workers, what have you, that for some reason, they're not going to want to see you win. And often it's because they see something in themselves that they're uncomfortable with. And so they will project that negative energy on others. And so you would hope that they would have your best interest in mind, but in all cases, that's just not it. And so again, there's going to be people in your life that would not be able to handle your growth. And you may not ever understand why they feel that way, but that is okay, right? Today is all about creating new relationships and finding your girl squad with people that you can have in your corner that's going to uplift you. So I want you to focus on surrounding yourself with positive energy that will allow your light to shine bright. And that is building relationships online and offline. All right. You need people around you that is going to clap for you when you win. They are going to encourage you when you're down and they're going to keep pushing you and motivating you when you feel like quitting and giving up. You need people in your corner that are going to be your biggest cheerleaders. Right. And so you need a girl squad. And what I mean by that is you need a core group of ambitious women that's going to support and hold you accountable in regards to you creating the life that you want. All right. Now, only a select few will qualify to be a part of your squad. So you want to make sure that you choose this group of women wisely. And when I say group, that can be two, three, four people, what have you. Um, I have different groups of women that I've talked about on the podcast before. Um, But you want to have a small group of women that's going to be in your corner and help you as you figure out how to adult, right? And live this life that you want and having the right people in your corner is so valuable. So As you start your journey to freeing your mind and showing up for yourself and cultivating the life that you desire on your terms and accomplishing the goals that you set for yourself, you need people that's going to hold you accountable. 
So when I was starting my journey, I understood very early on the importance of having women in my life that would be there for me for different areas where I needed them, okay? And I made it my mission to surround myself with women who wanted to see me win, that will celebrate with me, that will push me, that will encourage me, that will be there for me. Like I have been intentional about creating these relationships. And I believe I shared on a podcast before, um, I have best friends that have been in my life forever. And then I have a new tribe of women that I've been vibing with for the last couple of years that feed me in a different way, right? They feed my soul in a different way. And then I even have my homeschool co-op group where those women add value to my life as well. And so I've done a good job over years, (laughs) y'all, with cultivating friendships and relationships with women. And I'm very particular about that. And I keep saying women because I feel like that is very important that we need to be there for each other to support and encourage. Men are great, amazing, all good and well, but I am specifically talking about having women in your life that will be um, what you need as you go to this next level. And so again, you want women in your circle that will support you, that will encourage you, they will motivate you, they will inspire you, they will challenge you and push you out of your comfort zone, they will not judge you, they won't be negative towards you, and they will be honest with you and loyal to you, right, and respect you. I mean, I can literally go on and on. And those are the type of women that you want to have in your life. And please, please, please stop saying out loud that you don't hang with women because of X, Y, and Z, right? I do not want to hear that. I want you to be intentional about cultivating rich relationships with women, and it is possible, and I'm going to tell you how. Um, And especially if I was able or I've been able to create new friendships even as an adult, I'm no different than you, and you can do the same thing if it's something that you want, right? Um, so I understand that it's not easy creating new relationships when you're an adult. I mean, we know as kids, you're on the playground, you playing with a kid for five minutes and now you have this best friend. When you become an adult, it's not so easy, right? And so I'm going to give you some places that you can check out, um, or look into as it relates to finding new friends as adults. But one thing I do want you to keep in mind is that I want you to be open and optimistic about building new relationships. And I want you to put out the type of energy that you want to attract. So if you know that there are some things about you that would not make a good friend, don't expect to receive that in return. Okay? You want to be the type of friend that you want to attract. Okay? And so... I just want you to keep that in the forefront of your mind. So when it comes to finding people and finding women that vibe with you, um, number one is to check out meetup.com. And that is a place where you can, or excuse me, that is a platform where you can go and find people who share the similar, similar interests as you. So whether it's meditation, you like yoga, you like line dancing, you like art or being creative, literally there is a group for everything and you can start to meet women who go to these types of places and start to build connections there. Um, You can also, number two is to take a class. So go to maybe a retreat, maybe a conference Come to the Be Free Meetup where there's always positive, like-minded women. Um, Go to seminars, workshops, and just be around other women where you can learn, grow, and connect. Okay? Number three is to join a networking group or a professional association. So simply, if you just Google networking groups in your area, or if you Google professional um, associations, you would find something. Another great place that's just coming to the top of my head is Eventbrite to find events that's happening in your area. You can see what's going on. You'll find free events on there. And then there's events obviously that cost money as well. If you, um, maybe you see someone that 
goes to church and sometimes you have small talk or you kiki around with, right? Maybe invite her to church, invite her to church, maybe invite her to brunch <laughs> or maybe invite her out for coffee just to have conversation and to get a good feel for each other. Um, so that's something good to do. Maybe if you see the same person at a coffee shop and y'all have conversation now and then ask her, do you want to go to brunch? Right? So kind of treat it the same way as if you were, um, starting a new relationship or out in the dating field, it would be like the same thing, right? And then one last thing is to get out and get some fresh air. So start finding new places to go, do new things, get creative with where you spend your time and get out of your comfort zone and be intentional about meeting new people. All right. Oh, and then one last thing, actually, you can meet people online right? And I have built some amazing relationships and made some great friends um, online, right? And uh, many of the relationships that I built online has, has blossomed into relationships offline. So don't be fearful of ha making friends online. Um, you can meet some really, really great people. And so again, I just want you to be intentional about having healthy relationships with people that add value to your life. People that will build you up and bring out the best of you. That is the type of energy that you want to attract, right? And that is the type of energy that you want around you, especially as you're on this journey along with me with creating the life that you want, with being free, with getting unstuck, with um, figuring out what you want for your life and gaining more clarity. You want to have women around you that can support that. All right. And so... I am beyond excited to announce that I am launching the Be Free Inner Circle on May 31st, so in a couple of weeks. And so you're probably asking, Siobhan, what's the Be Free Inner Circle? Great question. It is an online membership site where it's designed for women who are ready to take action and show up for themselves. And most importantly, they want to be surrounded by a community of women who are positive and like-minded and on the same wavelength and on a similar journey. So women who will inspire you, make you feel empowered, who will support you. Those are the type of women that I am cultivating in the Be Free Inner Circle. Again, it is a, um, a membership site off, and it's, not, it's on this platform that I'm using called Mighty Networks. And so being a part of this online community just think of if you were in my Facebook group, think of it times 100. So there will be monthly group coaching calls and live office hours. There will be master classes and workshops, accountability and community support, which is so important. There's going to be a resource library with digital downloads and printable um, worksheets and things like that. And then the, again, what I'm really excited about is the community piece of supportive and positive like-minded women. And then as a bonus for the members who are a part of this exclusive community, you will have access to the Be Free Meetup, so in person or live stream. And then also I'll be doing monthly book recommendations. So that's just a start of what's to come with the Be Free Inner Circle. I am really, really, really excited about this because I miss having an online community and people have been asking me about, the, was I going to start the Facebook group again or things like that because they really missed it. And now this is a great way um, for me to be able to bring back the community that I miss. And then it's specifically for women who are ready to show up for themselves and they want to be in a community of like-minded women. All right. And so I already know that you want to be in the know, right? And you want to know when it's happening, when it's going live, all that jazz. In the show notes, there is a link for you to hop on the list. So that way you give me your name and your email address and I will be sharing behind the scenes and letting you know once everything goes live so you do not miss out. And when you hop on that list, you'll also get a free downloadable printable worksheet, excuse me, printable list of affirmations. So that's just my way of saying thank you for signing up and giving me your information to stay in the know. And again, you'll get a free list of affirmations when you do that.
And then one more thing that I want to add to this is that this exclusive community membership site will center around consistency and being disciplined, positive mindset, self-care and self-love, and showing up and taking action. And then ultimately, how do we be free, right? Because that's the center of everything that I do. How do we be free and live the life that we desire? And so I am so excited about this. And my mission is to make it affordable for my audience while still valuing my time, my energy, and the work that it takes to build this community. So I hope you're excited about it just like me. Again, in the show notes, there will be a link for you to be added to the list. So that way you can be in the know about everything that's happening and going on with that. And then again, you'll get a free list of affirmations delivered right to you. All right. And again, that is happening on May 31st. So make sure you hop on that list to stay in the loop. Now it's time for your action step this week. All right. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to write down five people that you spend the most time with. So that can be people that you're hanging out with at home and your community, your coworkers, who is getting the majority of your time and outside of your kids, who is getting the majority of your time, the five people that you spend the most time with. All right. And then I want you to ask yourself these questions. In what ways do they add value to your life? What do they bring to the friendship? What are they talented or gifted at? Are they the kind of friend that you want to spend time with? What are some of their challenges? And then lastly, do you feel that you are growing together or you're growing apart? So this is not going to be easy to answer these questions, especially about the people that you spend the most time with. But I want you to be really, really honest with yourself and look at the people that you're spending the most time with. And as you're answering these questions during your journal time, again, be honest. And then I want you to think about, okay, based on the next level that you're going to, because you're doing the work, you're showing up for yourself, everything that I'm talking about each week, you're applying it to your life. Are the people, will the people in your life be able to go on this journey with you? And, or is it time to put some distance so that you can really send get focused on the things that you want to um, do in your life. So that is what I have for you this week. Also, there's a Be Free Meetup coming up on May 11th. And the Be Free Meetup is my community, my in-person community, where I gather women to connect, to gather, and to have inspiring conversations that will challenge you to grow. Come hang out with me. There are a few tickets still available The Be Free Meetup, again, is happening this Friday, May 11th, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in Cleveland, Ohio. That is all I have, y'all. So not too long this week. And then next week's episode is going to go in a similar direction, so definitely stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed what you listened to today, this is how you can help me. Share the podcast with your friends. Snap a picture of the screen and share it on your Instagram stories, text it to your friend, share the podcast link um, on Facebook, and help me get the word out. If you find value in this episode or any of the previous episodes, go ahead and share it. I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. And until next time, girl, be free. Thank you so much for listening. Your support means the world to me. Don't forget to subscribe so that you never miss an episode. And if you're feeling really fancy, go ahead and leave a review. Until next time, be free and live.